Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing very well. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to talk today about why I like the Alpha Legion. I seem to really like that image of terrorist powder. I don't know why, but it, I think it's funny. Funny. And uh, yeah, here I am, your favorite Alpha Legion cat with his spear all cut out. And there's George Rockle Schmidt. Damien's behind my head. There's Damien. And you might be going, why did you use those two there? Uh, I don't know, I just like those guys. <laughs> That's all, really. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into it. Alpha Legion is one of my favorite uh, legions. So one of the things I really like about them is that they're clandestine operatives. They're willing to do just about anything to get a mission done in an efficient manner. I, I, I really like that in a, in a series where so many people are all about honor and doing all this crazy other stuff. These guys are just doing... Um, you know, the straightforward, like, no, we'll get our objective done, then we'll probably do it. You know, that kind of stuff. I also like that they have plenty of human agents spread across the Imperium. So they're not they're not just, like, Alpha Legion itself. They're not just the uh, Space Marines, but they also have, like, all kinds of different people uh, working in various different areas, spying for them. And they have these really intricate systems of, like, communication and, like, telling who's an agent and who's not. So that uh, agents might not actually even know who's an agent compared to each other like on the field because they'll have like multiple layers of um obfuscation to make sure more difficult they also have some of the best intelligent operatives in the setting i mean the fact that uh alfarius was able to get on to terra or well they say it's alfarius and they're able to get uh alpha legion agents on to terra during the middle of the horus heresy is I think kind of a testament to that and they're like always able to like misdirect people and always getting them to believe you know like random things and always acting in such a way where you know you kind of have to question what exactly it is they're actually doing kind of interesting our i think is really interesting actually uh yeah like they're not concerned with our thing uh, i think that's 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 really important i at least to me because there's a certain point where like look man it doesn't matter how honorable you want to say you are in war war is war you're killing people you're doing bad stuff you're doing things to people that you probably shouldn't be doing you're gonna be you know like there's gonna be casualties all kinds of stuff like that to me the idea of be being the honorable warrior like yeah sure it's nice you, there's certain things that you shouldn't do but at the same time like we're just we're just doing the mission, man. Like, the mission is more important than notions of honor or integrity. They are willing to use tactics others might deem cowardly. Uh, also, the artwork there is by Circus on Reddit. Very good artwork. Um, yeah, yeah, like, they're not going to just, like, charge. They're like, well, it would be honorable to charge. Like, we're not going to do that. We're, just, we're going to pick you off from a distance if we can. We're going to do anything we can. This is war. It's not some random nonsense where we all get to have like big honor and, sh and swords and stuff like that but actually it is because a lot of people do do that and then you can use that to your advantage and just you know snipe their guy in the head because i have to be honorable and out in the field so then you just shoot him alfarius is also like uh my favorite uh reading the alfarius uh the head of the hydra book is i th i think really uh added to my appreciation for the alpha legion I really like the idea that uh, he's actually the first Primarch that was discovered. Uh, he's also he's one of the most reliable in terms of secrecy. He's a really skilled combatant. He's a master manipulator. He trusts the Legion enough to let them ask questions rather than simply enforcing his ideas on everything. This is something I really like. That last point is one I really like. Um, because of the whole thing of like a lot of Legion like uh, like primarchs and things like that basically just don't like being questioned at all and they're always like doing things where it's like no this is my order so you have to do it i really like that alfarius is willing to let his ideas be questioned and is willing to be like okay no you can't do this because uh, of this and then people ask why and you know he's 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 willing to treat his legion as if they're grown-ups and right off the bat i really really enjoy that i think that really marks him out among a lot of other primarchs for that by itself not that no other primark is willing to let people ask questions or let their own legionaries ask questions but alfarius really is a step in, above and beyond for that and of course omegon is in there as well uh during the dark crusade they operated in secret while none of the other legions were the wiser so at first they were actually operating and doing missions while be, but because alfarius was not out in the open they weren't doing it as Alpha Legion, but they were going around and doing these missions for Alfarius and for the Imperium, and everybody didn't know who they were, and they were trying to keep it secret. Very interesting to me. 
uh, they gather information on every legion and um, on the on the inner workings of the Imperium. Alparis forced the custodians to re-examine their security measures in the palace. That one was a fun one because basically uh, Alparis was trying to prove to the custodians and to others that the security in the palace was pretty lax. So basically he went around and he was like, oh hey, uh, I'm going to kill this custodian, take his armor, and I'm going to go through and he did all this different stuff. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil everything he did, but it, it was really good. Read, read head of the Hydra. Um, I just think it's interesting because it's implied in multiple occasions that Alvarius knows his brothers a lot better than they realize, and that he knows a lot more about them, implying that there's probably spies in other legions, which it turns out there are. Uh, some of them are very good spies. It turns out. Uh, there's a lot of really fun stuff with that. Where we're just like, oh yeah, no, we we know we knew what you were doing because. You know, we were we have people in your legion, but like, of course, you don't have to give away your hand like that. But yeah, during the crusade, before uh, all the crazy nonsense happened, they were doing a lot of really fun stuff with that. Uh, I will actually add one more point here before I move on. I also think that their whole thing with the cabal is really cool. I personally think the cabal is like a very interesting idea, implemented poorly, admittedly, but I just think it's a cool idea. Uh, during the siege, they infiltrated the palace and disrupted the Raptors Project. That was one big one. See, the Raptors Project was basically uh, Corvus Corex went to the Emperor and said, Hey, I, I don't know what I can do here. And the Emperor was like, Here's how you get into my gene vault and all the crazy stuff you got to do. And then he basically started to make better Space Marines. The Alpha Legion um, disrupted that. There's also uh, John Grammaticus, uh, who they got in the palace and during the middle of the siege. Literally right in the middle of the siege. Um, he knows all kinds of different stuff about the uh, inner workings of the palace because, you know, he basically lived there for a long time. He's really cool about stuff like that. And this artwork is by, um, Advisorum. Advisorum? Advisorum. There you go. I think I got it that time. I believed in me. You should too. And then there's After the Heresy. Unlike most of the Traitor Legions, they didn't flee directly into the IGR. Basically, the vast majority of the Traitor Legions after the siege of terror went poorly for them at the end we're like yeah sure they crippled the emperor but they lost horus and then they all got kind of we're getting their asses beat the most of them just fled into the eye of terror the alpha legion did not actually do that the alpha legion uh basically stayed outside in real space for the next ten thousand years uh they have pretty much nobody left from the heresy at least as far as we know um because 10,000 years, they were actually experiencing the 10,000 years of warfare. Not just going in and being like, yeah, we've been around for 10,000 years, and then realizing that, like, were you, were you really, or were you there for a much shorter period of time because you were in and out of the warp, and clearly having a massive change of, like, how things are working and things like that. But yeah, they were uh, fighting and, you know, laying down spies and doing all this stuff for 10,000 years. The modern Alpha Legion, I think, is also really cool. Also, read, uh, Harrow Master, that's where this cover is from. Harrow Master is really good. The modern Alpha Legion is divided into numerous smaller groups who have their own cultures and tactics. Some have embraced chaos worship and others have not. Most of the abandoned parts, most have abandoned parts of the original Legion culture while maintaining the most important elements such as command structure. It's actually really interesting. In Harrow Master, they really go into the details of like how much of the various different uh, uh, war bands of the Alpha Legion have changed and like how much they've changed their tactics and, and why they're so different. Some of them still, they're like one of them, I can't remember what they're called, I want to say the Faceless, still actually do the whole thing of like modifying themselves to look more like Alfarius and still call each other Alfarius. And then others, most others have completely abandoned their practice. Many don't really see Chaos as anything other than Tool and then some are, act, are you know, active worshippers of Chaos. It's really cool, you get a, you get a wide variety of ideas and things within this legion that I think is part of what makes them really cool. I also think that the scale on this armor and stuff like that, I think that's really cool. The memes. Alpha Legion has several memes attached to them, which I can get, which can get a bit old, but are still mostly fun. Uh, I Am Alfarius has largely been abandoned by the modern legion with only a few warbands still clinging to it, like the Faceless. They're certainly not loyalists, but that is a meme that sticks around. I think you can't ever know for sure that they're not loyalists, but it seems to me that they're not 
really loyalists in the sense that we understand at least when we get stuff from alpha legion alpha legionnaire perspectives they don't ever really seem like they're loyalists the only time they seem like they might be loyalists or doing something kind of weird is in books from the <coughs> excuse me the imperium's perspective not really from like when you read books from like guys within like the alpha legion you don't really get the impression that like any of them are actually loyalists but i mean it's also kind of funny to like play around with the idea and also of course i am alpharius i am alpharius i am alpharius is you know just kind of a funny thing that a lot of people like to say but yeah i really like that they're just like a neato tactical legion if you're into tactical operations and using stealth then the alpha legion is one of the best picks the other pick there is Raven Guard. Raven Guard and Alpha Legion are actually very similar in a lot of ways, but not exactly the same. I think, I think um, Raven Guard does more almost like a special forces kind of feel, and I think that um, Alpha Legion does more of like a clandestine CIA type feel. They sideline some of the grim derp in favor of being simple and effective. I personally like that a lot because. I have to admit, uh, the more I've been playing 40k on the tabletop and, you know, doing this sort of thing, the more I've kind of gotten a little bit tired of a lot of the grim, derpy stuff I see. Lots of opportunities for human characters in this Legion because they all have, they have, because of all of the human agents they have, bleh. Uh, not sure who the smiling edit of a Fargus belongs to. I looked for a while. I really like this picture of all the forest where he's just got his big old teeth. But yeah, I think Alpha Legion is really cool. Just a really cool Nido Legion. The end. By AutoCat. Also, you know, I really, I really like their Hydra symbol. I think that it's cool, and I like that they're semi scalies. They get to be fun pretend scalies. So you know, if you're into that, hey, if the space wolves can be furries, we can also have scalies. Magic. Although, don't look up um, Warhammer Scaly, because you're going to get one of two things. You're going to get the actual mutants that are called Scalies, or you're going to get, um, well, you know, reptile people, reptile anthros. Which, I mean, actually, I guess there's no reason not to look that up. No, go ahead, look it up. Do it now. Do it, 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 do it. Anyway, yeah, I just really like the Alpha Legion. I think that I really like the tactical aspects. I really like the clandestine nature of them. I really like that they're very sneaky. I, I like all this stuff. I think they're really cool. I also really like the diversity of modern um, Alpha Legion warbands. I think that they are a lot more interesting than a lot of the other war war bands. I also think it's kind of cool that they don't seem to have anywhere near the same problems with GNC because they don't spend all of their time in the warp like you know a bunch of silly billies because you know that that's really not good for your gene seat or anything like that anyway um yeah i just really like the alpha legion and i just wanted to share that with you anyway uh, i hope that you know that i love you and god loves you and bye bye love you bye like subscribe all that fun stuff and have a great one bye love you bye